you read this title correctly. I no longer have my mini truck. I don't regret selling it. And I wanna tell you the five reasons why I got rid of it. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Josh here again with Daily Mountain Bike Rider. And I needed to make this video because the number one thing that you ask me about, that people comment on every video, where's the mini truck? How's the mini truck? What's the updates with the mini truck? And it's time for me to let you know that I've actually sold it. And it's not that I sold it like a week ago or a month ago or a year ago. See, I bought the mini truck in summer of 2019 and I sold it two years ago in the summer of 2020. Now, during that time, I wasn't making a ton of videos, so I didn't let you guys know why I sold it, but I realized it's been too long and I just need to update you. So here are the five main reasons I sold my mini truck. The first one is one that came up a lot, and that is that Japanese import mini trucks just don't make great commuter vehicles. You see, there was a lot of things about this truck that made it kind of a pain in the butt for the day-to-day -day driving. First up, it only has two seats. So if you ever need to take somebody somewhere, or if I needed to take my son to school, I couldn't do it. It's two front seats and it just doesn't work. Second is that it is very, very hot in there. The engine heats up and heats the whole cab and there's no air conditioning. Third is that the storage is next to none. I put my backpack in the little black box in the back, but I couldn't put much in the cab. I really couldn't carry that much because the sides of the bed weren't very big. It just really wasn't practical, not to mention it couldn't go over like 50 miles an hour safely or comfortably. And so it made it where I had to stick to under 35 miles an hour. I couldn't go on the freeway and it was just kind of a pain in the butt. Now, the second reason that I got rid of my mini truck is a big one for me. And that is that it wasn't very mountain bike friendly. You see, I like the ability to not take off anything on my bike, including the front wheel, in order to put something on a rack. I like to throw it over a tailgate or put it on a nice bike rack. But the mini truck, I had to take off the front wheel. I had to kind of get up into the cab in order to put the fork into the fork holder. It became a pain in the butt, and I would rather have something that's easier to transport my bike with. Now, I know that's kind of a diva thing, but the other thing is when I bring a bike pump and I bring uh, my pads and my shoes and all these things, I just didn't have a place to store them all because the cab is so small. Not to mention taking two people with all of our stuff, it just wouldn't work. So it didn't really work for me for mountain biking, which is a big thing for me. Now, the third reason I sold my mini truck is that it is kind of expensive to fix. You see, I had the snow tires that came stock on there. They're like Blizzax, which are great in the snow, but terrible all year round. And I couldn't find the small enough size in order to buy them. So that was one issue, but also it had a small leak and fixing it isn't that hard because it's a 600 cc engine kind of like a motorcycle but it's resourcing parts and finding them locally or mailing them to you on ebay or somewhere that makes it a challenge and then you have to go through all the labor yourself where around here if you have something wrong you can just go to an auto mechanic and he'll take care of it for you a mini truck means they have to put a lot more labor and time into figuring out how to fix it and to be honest i just didn't want to deal with the ongoing maintenance of an older vehicle that will definitely need it Reason number four might sound odd, but you'll understand if you've ever driven motorcycles or scooters or ridden your bike long distances on the street. And that is that the mini truck kind of makes you stink. And what I mean is, since it is a motorcycle engine and it's right below you, you kind of get the exhaust and the smell of the engine. Not only that, you like the airflow makes like all the grime and dust from the street come on you. So just like when I take my scooter places or used to ride my motorcycle all over, I would end up wherever I was at and kind of have this smell of like an auto mechanic or somebody who's been outside near an engine and kind of needs to take a shower. And I got tired of all the time. I'd take a, a shower, I'd be all cleaned and ready to go. I'd show up at my job and I would just smell like grime, which wasn't nice. Now, those are all some small issues, but the number one reason I sold my mini truck, which is reason number five, is that my wife told me to because it's extremely unsafe. You see, not only does it not go fast, but if you were to ever get in a car accident, and I'm talking a little fender bender, your airbag is literally your knees. I mean, there is nothing on the front of that protecting you. And if I ever got in a car accident in it, it would be terrifying. And my wife was worried about that, but more than that, she just said, hey, you have a lot of dangerous hobbies that you like to do, mountain biking being one of them. And she's like, I worry about you enough out on the trails. I don't need to worry about you driving around town. And I thought that was pretty fair. And I also realized if I sold the mini truck for like the money I paid for it, which I did, then I could buy another mountain bike. 
So I actually found a local buyer, somebody who, it was an older gentleman out in Everson. He's using it on his property. So far I've heard that he loves it and he uses it as like a sport utility golf cart, which it's perfect for. So I went to a good home. I didn't lose too much money. And is there part of me that wishes I could jump in the mini truck and drive around or show up to a mountain bike event in it? Absolutely. But overall, I'm happy that I sold it. It was a great experience and I'll always carry that memory. So all of you who have been commenting and asking and texting me, I saw you the other day out in Bellingham, we can put that to an end because it's gone. So rip mini truck until next time. You know what time it is. Don't spend too much time watching a guy talk about his Japanese import mini truck, but get out there, ride your bike, make sure you do it every day.